Mmm, can you see it? Mmm, bit dark in here, isn't it? Bit gloomy. Well, there's a reason for that. I want to demonstrate something in a minute. But anyway, in whatever light we've got here at the moment, this is a thing saying neon, which happens to be the tenth element in the, in, in the periodic table, produced by a friend of mine, Roger Gilbertson, for the tenth gather for gardener. I've just come back from the thirteenth. In it, he includes a nice bit of um, information about neon and a lot of other things besides. But the most interesting thing is this thing here. This is a little neon bulb, would you believe? Tiny bit of neon gas in there. It discharges through it and it creates a red, well-known red light. This is the interesting part. This is called piezoelectric material. When you bend it like that, it creates a tiny little discharge of electricity. Both ways, it creates a tiny little current. When you waggle it hard, it creates probably about 110 volts, I think is the minimum, for, to make the thing discharge. So to make it uh, visible, I've got to have a but of really, really gloomy studio here. So let's have a go at waggling it now in the gloom. Look, there we are. I can see lots and lots of red points. Each little waggle back and forward produces between three and five discharges. Do it this way as well. And if you could put your ear to it, you could hear a tiny little clicking sound as well. Wonderful demonstration of piezoelectric magic, I call this. But it is a bit dark in here, isn't it? Even spooky? 